I'm Anil Kumar. We are solving this question on flight of osprey, polynomial equations and inequalities. The question was, the following table shows the bird's height above the water as given by the observer. Determine an equation to model the data. This we did in the first part. Time given to us was 0, 2, 4, 6, 7 and 8. Respective heights were 7, 10, 5, 0, 0 and 3. We calculated in the earlier videos that height this height can be modeled as h of t equals to 1 over 6 times x plus 1 times x minus 6 times x minus 7. Now there were a couple of questions to answer. Now we are almost at the end. It says use your model to estimate the rate at which the osprey's height is changing at the time it hits the water. Now from the data we know it hits the water at this time so it just hits and then comes out of the water like this. So it is at t equals to 6. So the time is t equals to 6. So at the time when it just hits the water so we can take preceding rate of change at this moment that is to say that the rate of change will be h of 6 minus h of 5.99 divided by 6 minus 5.99 correct so that should give us the rate of change at the time when it hits the water rate of change of height correct so that is what we need to calculate so what we'll do is we know h of 6 is 0 right because if I put 6 here this factor is 0 so it is 0 minus I need to calculate the value when x is 5.99 so let's calculate it is 1 over 6 times 5.99 plus 1 times 5.99 minus 6 times 5.99 minus 7 everything divided by now 6 minus 5.99 that means 0 0.01 correct so, so that is what we need to calculate. So we can use the calculator. Of course, the answer is negative, right? So we can write down negative and calculate the value. So it is one sixth of all this. So let me do within brackets 5.99 plus 1, bracket close, 5.99 minus 6, bracket close, times 5.99 minus 7 bracket close equals to divided by 6 so that gives you one value divided by 0 0.01 gives us the answer which is minus 1.1766 right so approximately this is the average rate of change the height is in meters and time is in seconds so when you use your model you get that as your answer so that is how we can find the rate of change of height at the time when it hits the water the osprey hits the water correct so that's our solution in the next video we will see it how to find this average rate of change by drawing a tangent on the curve we'll summarize all the things which you have learned in the next video I hope this exercise really helps you to understand and appreciate the concept. I am Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.